the most important person in your life is the Holy Spirit. What do I say? The most important person you should take care of in your life is the Holy Ghost. Is the one God sent to start or everything you see on earth. Is the one God also sent to finish the work. Is the most important person in your life. If you miss some, you miss almost everything about your life. The easiest way to get things done in your life is by the Holy Ghost. The easiest way to get things done. That's why when somebody tells me something, hey, Papa, I want to do this. I'll say, give me two days. Give me one week. Give me some, some hours. I will quick to hear but I will never quick to talk. I quick to hear, to ask, to inquire from the Lord, to inquire from the Holy Ghost, to tell me exactly what to do in that direction. Talk is cheap. The Holy Ghost will not go wrong and tell you something to do. They will check balance. They will not talk to you. Praise the Lord. Some will say, we expect you to tell me now. now. I say, I know they talk now, now. If you tell me now, now I go tell you now. If you don't tell me now, now I'm not go tell you now. Now I go tell you as he tell me. Praise the Lord. Even though they die, they go. I no go. I no go talk. I no go talk with them. They don't tell me. But they tell me, now I go talk. Praise the Lord. The easiest way to get things done in your life is to apply the Holy Ghost. If you want to get your things done easily, always apply the Holy Ghost. But the Holy Ghost is not easy to get. Somebody can be in church for years when not get, not get Holy, Holy Spirit. You can come to church. You can even be ordained. You can become a pastor without the Holy Ghost. You can be a deacon. No Holy Ghost. You can be a reverend. No Holy Ghost. You just walk by your, by your natural whatever. But then they ask you to just talk. Some, sometimes things happen that will look rough. But when you ask the Holy Ghost, He will tell you that I'm taking these things to somewhere. The Bible says, All things work it for good to them that love God, to them that work according not to their own strength and ability, according to the knowledge of God. Praise the Lord. God told me to carry somebody one day, say, Bring this man from one branch to this place. I, I say, this man, they help somebody here. Why go can I bring a coin here? I never knew God want to take away somebody and that man, that person will go to that place. God, they do this. The way God, they do this is different from what the man they do. That's why if you want to make your job day easy, always contact him. The easy way to get your things done is to apply the Holy Ghost. Do I do do I not do? One day, where they were ironing clothes under a, de, under a house. And I'm, I'm to park my car there. I said, I better carry this thing, go iron for outside. I said, Sunday, I said, I know. Holy Ghost is telling me, you can't go for outside. I want to park my car on that. It is a park, my, park your car for us. I park my car for us. I never know that the thing want to collapse. After some few minutes, the whole thing collapsed. Bah, come on. They say, ah, but you know they go for us. I don't know they go for. But you just say, make I can't pull outside. Sometime when water come here, water go full the church. I go say, ask God, God, what do you make I do? He said, don't relax your mind. I said, make I relax. What are they destroying to you? Say, make I, is it relax? Now he has to make you stay. Now he has to make you leave. If I tell me you come out, I will tell you. Sometimes I will get some money plenty from my hand. Where did you buy another property somewhere? God say, I say, stay. I will say, yes, sir. I don't know the reason why it's make I stay. The easiest way to get your happiness is not your wife. It's the application of the Holy, Ghost, Holy Spirit. If you can contact the Holy Ghost, Listen, you will get rest. 
everybody can fight you. Everybody can curse you. But once you apply the Holy Ghost, you will get inner joy and inner peace. Are you here? Because whatever I ask you to do, if you do, and now you go get peace. Whatever you tell yourself, you can get problem there. But whatever he tells you to do, just do it. Now the Holy Ghost is not in charge of this world. Not the government. Now the Holy Ghost is not in charge of this world. That's why when they said coronavirus or coronavirus, corona, corona bullshit. I don't know what they call corona. What is corona? Corona is not name. Understand what is corona. And they said no church to... God, I, 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 I look at that thing as something that is, it's not, I don't know how it sounds. That you, come, you want to you want to suspend that you want to suspend the, the use of the Holy Ghost for common ordinary coronavirus. I don't understand. No church. I don't know. Pray in your house. And the Bible says, He that dwelt in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I don't know how you go. My house is not a secret place. My house can never be the secret place. The secret place is a place where you make, you make, you set aside for prayer ground. You set aside a place where we go, pray, talk about God, and go back. Not my house. See, the Holy Ghost is the one in charge of this world. The easiest or the the the, the quicker people know, the better for them. That the Holy Ghost is the one in charge of this world. Not even the government. Oh my God, stay, they go stay there four years. Another one go come inside. John chapter 2 said, In the last days, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit to all flesh. He said, Your daughters will, will prophesy. Young men will see visions. Men will dream dreams. And the last days, so to live in this world without the spirit is a risk. It's something you can demand for. You, you pray to get it. You fast to get it. To stay here on earth without the Holy Ghost is a risk. It's a big risk. I, I have a driver. And every day, my tire will come down. I will go pump and I will change down. Small time, another time, every day, I ask the Holy Ghost, what is responsible for this one? He said, your new driver, the one sucking the air from the tire. Simple, to make your job easy. I ask him, I say, anytime you come, walk. Don't enter my house again. He said, what did I do? I said, I don't know. No, enter my house. Stay until I call you. Stay outside until I call you. I, I, I check it for two weeks. No tire. Deflate. I sack him. I don't de give him for trouble. I don't know where they come from. I sack him. Go. If I, know if, if I deliver you, you refuse to be delivered. Both the vessel and the demon I will cast out. Then they hear me. I don't waste my time. I say, go. You refuse to go. Go. The demon still stay there. I go burn to both the demon and the person. Go stay somewhere. One day I was praying for, was praying for somebody. Every time, the man and the, every time the man and the wife, they always quarrel. But I know that the man is a good man. I know that the woman is a good man. You know, if you see husband and wife, they quarrel, you know, you go know whether one is bad or one is good. You can know which, which one to really cancel. But in this case, there's no one you can cancel because the two of them are good. The woman does not make trouble. The man, the, the man does not make trouble. But when they come together inside a house, they must fight. They go box themselves till daybreak. I went there to pray to find out exactly what they cost. And I found out that they were living with one house girl. And I asked the Holy Ghost, what is the problem of these people? The Holy Ghost says, as you look, they see past by the door. It's placed there by the house gate. I call the house gate. Who get this person and me? What do you think I can do? He said, when I want to make my madam and my girl fight, I go put her like this. 
when they don't fight finish, when they don't, when they don't, when they satisfy, I go separate them. So you did, you, you, the man and the woman were fighting, but because of the absence of the Holy Ghost, they don't know what to do. Now the absence of the Holy Ghost, because them. If you get the Holy Ghost, go no, this one will ruin my life. This thing will frustrate me. This thing will take. This thing will destroy my life. He will tell you, but the absence of the Holy Ghost, you don't go see anything. You go take everything natural. Everything will become play. Everything will become less flesh. Everything will become now play. Forget it. Say the only one day in charge of this world today are the Holy Ghost. Not be the, not be government. Now the Holy Ghost. If you can handle them, see. Matthew one thing. If you feel hold the Holy Ghost well, eh, you go be friend to your pastor. The cheapest way to be friend to your pastor, when you hold the Holy Ghost very well, he will direct you. Say so he direct you because the Bible says, "As many as are led by the Spirit of God shall be called the sons of God." If your pastor talks something you don't know, you don't know where they go because you are used by the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The day of the Lord is 33 years. And then the last days is from the day Jesus arose till now. Hebrews chapter 8, start from verse 7. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then no place would have been sought for a second. Verse 8. Because finding fault with them, he says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Go Verse ahead. 9. Mm -hmm. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they did not continue in my covenant. 10. And I disregarded them, says the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their mind and write them on their hearts. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. 11. None of them shall teach his neighbor and none his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For all shall know me from the least of them to the greatest of them. Amen. Amen. I want you to know what I'm saying now. Though time will not permit me to break all this one down for you today. I will make a new covenant. I will be their God and they will be my children. This new law that I want to make with them, even though they sin, they can still come back to me and say, sorry sir. The former one, if they sin, they die. Once you break one, you, they, they break you. Once you commit anything, they kill the person. But I will make a new covenant with them. Once you sin, you can still go back to your father. So, from this, this new law, this new covenant, no man has the right to bring back your past to you. To tell you, say, shall be you the drink before. Now you say, go to church. Tell the person, Go and discuss that with my father, not with me. My father tell me, say, he don't give me a new covenant. I can tell him, I can go to him and say, Baba, I do this, you know, and I know so I do it wrong. And the Bible says, God is just and kind to say, I forgive you. So nobody get right to carry your past, can't give you again. Take the past, the whole you can go back to him and, and say, I am sorry, sir. In this new covenant, you can say, Lord, I am sorry. Not let anybody carry past things come give you. And say, eh, or not let your conscience carry pa past things come give you. All things are passed away. Now within the new covenant talk with us. And on the help of the Holy Ghost, let me tell you this one. Or else if you live in guilt, you go affect your life. Maybe it's something where it don't happen before. You're going to live in that guilt. You're going to worry you. And you're not going to keep your life going. You gonna you gonna feel bad. Oh, oh, oh. Now so you're gonna go back. The Bible says you new covenant where you get with God. Now the covenant where you can go back to him and say, I'm sorry. 
You can just put your hand for the altar and say, Lord, this is this and what I've done yesterday. I am sorry. And if that it ends there, praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. So if anybody walks to you, anybody walks to you and begin to condemn you or condemn what you are doing by virtue of say he know what he what he don't do before. Uh, bros, I beg, discuss with my father. <laughs> Not discuss with me. me and my father don't make agreement, so discuss with my father. That's how to leave. That's why I said, if you don't have the Holy Ghost as a child of God, you go to live in, you go to, you go to live in dark. Anybody can come and deceive you. It's easy to deceive them. But it's not easy to deceive a man or a woman with the Holy Ghost. It's not easy. Because it's, it will guide you, it will teach you, it will show you things to come. You don't need to, you don't need, you don't need, you don't need a prophet. You don't need a prophet to be telling you, uh, tomorrow, uh, don't go this thing. And then, when you get the Spirit of God, when you catch him, he will guide you. One, he go teach you. Two, he go show you things when they come. If, if you just want to enter moto, put left for moto, you could just get some feeling. You could just get some, they come like a thought. Some, they come like, say, he won't tell you, some, they won't tell you for your mind. Not do this thing. You could just come like a small, small voice. Say, stop. Small, tiny voice. Hey, some people say that instincts. Not instincts. Some. Not instincts. But the Holy Ghost. Say, don't go, don't go there, don't go there. You, uh, someone say, hello, um, can I marry you? You go, come, bam. This is your husband. You go, come, bam. If, if you're near her, you die. You go, but if you not get them, you go, they walk, walk inside dead trap. Praise the Lord. You go, walk inside dead trap. You must talk. You cannot live here on earth without it. If you live here on earth without, uh, without the application of the Holy Ghost or without the Holy Ghost in, at work, at work in your life, now risk your day. You therefore risk. The pastor will not follow you everywhere, but the Holy Ghost will follow you everywhere. Are you with me? The bishop will not follow you everywhere, but the Holy Ghost will follow you everywhere. He said, as many as are led by the Spirit of God shall be called the sons of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Remember, it was the Spirit of God that tells us about Jesus. It was the Spirit of God that conceived Jesus. It was that Spirit that rose Jesus up from the grave. It was that same spirit. And that's the spirit I'm, I, I talk about. You can get it through lace of hands. You can get it through fasting. You can get it through prayers. I want to believe God that in case you are here and you don't have the Holy Ghost, you will live here with the Holy Ghost. Stand to your feet as we pray.